Joining us now is Thomas Hodgson, uh, Hodson, the uh, sheriff of Bristol County, Massachusetts. Good to see you again, Sheriff. We had a big shouting match today between former ICE Director Thomas Homan and Democrat Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal at a hearing today on border detention facilities. I'd like your reaction on the, on the other side of this fiery exchange. Watch this. He has failed to work with this president to close the three loopholes we've asked for two years to close. I'm so if you want to know why this issue expired. exists, you need to look in the mirror. You, need, the you have failed American expired. people who are not Holman. securing the border and closing loopholes. Mr. Holman, look, please you, respect the chair and the authority you know, of the chair. The time have, of the gentleman has expired. I've asked you gentleman politely to let me from, go beyond my, my time, and you let other from, people go beyond their time, but not, not to Tom Holman. He don't get me to go have, beyond his time. Mr. Holman... Sheriff, your reaction. Look, Liz, um, the, the, the Congress, uh, these committees have really turned into a real circus because the, the, the members of the committee have actually disrespected the people who have come there to testify, to give them information. They cut them off. They treat them disrespectfully. And there is a point where all of us have finally said, look, we pay your salaries. You're here in a building we pay for, and you're supposed to be doing our work. And they, they basically pursue their political ideologies and use the witnesses as their sort of political pawn and they're not there to hear the real facts they should, they don't want to know the truth they want they want things to fall right into place so that they can advance their political agenda we've seen it time again and i've been one who's experienced it on a number of occasions yeah. total disrespect uh, sheriff thomas holman went on to say that when he was ice director under obama congress was quick to support them watch this I'd like to remind you, under the Obama administration, we did that most of the years he was president. I don't remember any hearings on that. Congress was quick to give all the money we needed. I didn't like it under the Obama administration either. In fact, well, be honest with the American people. You, you can't point out faults in the Trump administration when it happened under the Obama administration. Okay, that was about the congresswoman's objection to beds at detention facilities. Thomas Homan is pointing out the same issues occurred under the Obama administration. Your reaction to that? Well, they absolutely did. Look, I was down in McAllen, Texas. I was down there when they had those pens, those, those uh, chain link pens that were put in under the Obama administration. And it's, it's amazing, the hypocrisy. But, you know, the American people are figuring all this out. And they've seen very clearly now, uh, you know, it's, it's much like the script in The Wizard of Oz. Toto's pulled the curtain back on these, these members of Congress. And the public now sees that it is all about hypocrisy and it's all about political posturing as opposed to doing the people's work. And I don't blame... Uh, uh, Tom Homan, who's a great patriot, for being frustrated, as many people are when they go before the committees. Sheriff, sure, we're almost done with uh, closing out the fiscal year. 811,000 border crossers apprehended in this fiscal year so far. Sheriff, sure, that's about the size of Seattle. It's approaching the population of Indianapolis. The president scored another victory with the cent uh, he got an agreement with the Central American uh, country of Honduras. Honduras now joining Guatemala and El Salvador in, in enabling the U.S. to send migrants back to wait their asylum cases in those countries. But uh, opponents are saying that these countries are afflicted with the highest homicide rates in Latin America, and it's dangerous for them. You're taking all of this. Well, look, the, the bottom line is this. The president has tried every which way to, to secure the borders and what have you. All he's gotten is roadblocks and obstruction. But the president is focused. I've never seen anybody uh, in my time in the presidency that has had the people's interests at heart in finding solutions. And, and every time they throw a roadblock up, it's amazing. He's got this endless energy to go figure out another way to do it. And I think he's finally... Uh, been one of the first presidents, if not the first president, who has used a business model to create real solutions for the people. And he won't take his eye off the ball when it comes to taking yeah. care of the American people. Sure. Final word. You have a number of sanctuary uh, communities under in your neck of the woods that you have to deal with. Earlier at a press briefing, ISIS acting director explained how sanctuary cities threaten public safety by being complicit in the crimes committed by the illegal aliens that they protect. That's basically what he was saying. Do you think sanctuary cities are complicit? There's no question about it. And, and I will tell you this. Massachusetts has the highest migration of illegal immigrants in the United States, uh, according to the recent Pew report, uh, between 2007 and 2017. And we're the second most common place to find fentanyl in the United States. We're 2,500 miles from the border. And there, that's because there are these sanctuaries. And the word gets back across the border very quickly 
if you want to go and you want to lay low, go to places like Massachusetts. And that's our problem. We have elected officials undermining the public safety of our communities quick, and not following through on the, on the laws quick, that they created. Quick word, state and local taxes go up in dealing with all of this, right, Sheriff? Yes or no? Quick one. No question about it. Okay. They absolutely do. It's a burden on the Sh taxpayer. Sheriff Thomas Hodgson, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your service to our country. And